you're working in like medium, large, mega projects, you tend to use this 3D model software. In this case, we're particularly speaking about Smart Plan 3D. To focus on stress analysis, you would start with your 3D model or with yeah. isometrics. And either you have like two or several ways to do so, but one is direct transfer from the 3D model. And then you will have your typical procedure of manual transfer from ISOs or the 3D model. After that, you get your own stress model. You get to do what is important, which is the, the stress analysis. Basically, the designers or piping designers already put everything in place as they estimate would be a good route and a good support layout. It would vary upon experience, of course. But they would uh, do a job that, uh, from their perspective, it's correct. And so we always try to maximize the use of that original design, unless the, the results are really bad. But you need to introduce some changes to the design. And then you propose a new design. So you've got to go through the negotiation with the designer because you might have a point of view that it might work for you, but not necessarily work for the plan. And then when you have that, what you basically do is start your support modeling. And then you have two more outcomes to that. That will be one, reducing like piping stress reports. And then in, in the other hand, you will have the design team is informed about it. And then it's the design is approved. And then basically the designer or whoever is in charge, they will produce the isometrics in the end. Uh, Negotiation phase, as you, you mentioned it. Okay. And basically going back and forth between pipe design and pipe stress. Like what would that look like in practice? Basically, I would recommend to be sent email with in screen. You can have your marked up isometrics, like your stress marked up isometrics with uh, dimensions on it and what you have on your mind. And it's always good that the idea, whatever is in the software and the idea that you have like, will be fully implemented or implemented good enough.